it'll probably go all the way over it once it gets up this time and that's okay Uh, Dennis here at Capital Training and Chewing. I'm back out here with Brilliant Attitude, and uh, we're we're in this retraining program with him now. You know, and, and we want to develop him into a rope horse. That's our that's our clear mental picture. Um, this horse, I actually made the finals with him in the Extreme Makeover in Fort Worth, and uh, and is and this is a really good horse. But he he did get uh, frightened during the finals. And there was some trauma that that happened to him during the training process itself that that still wants to haunt this horse early on his favorite thing to do was to get up on that box in fact we, we even lab labeled it the brilliant attitude box but then you know it, it, he got to thinking that that box was part of the problem so i haven't asked him to get up on it this you're going to see it right from the beginning i'm going to ask him to come around there and, and this, this thing here, you know, it, it, is, is something that he was really bothered by. So I want him to move his feet now. I want him to move forward. Forward. He hasn't moved forward yet. He just squatted down and thinking about leaving the wrong way. So there's forward motion. Now, you're seeing why... Uh, I believe that too much desensitizing is really a hindrance to your training because all I want him to do is take that step forward and he was so locked in on that thing thinking that if he just stayed still it was going to quit then I almost couldn't get him to move his feet with it. So I need for this horse to not only be comfortable when he stands still but I need him to be comfortable while his feet are moving. And I'll ask again. Let's see if we can get, get forward. There's a nice step forward, so I'll let him have it. Another nice step forward, let him have it. He's still extremely troubled by this thing, but he's handling it, accepting it. Now I'm gonna be a little bit forgiving if I, if I, if I hadn't asked him to go forward here, I wouldn't accept the steps that he was just doing over there. But he took the step forward then he was still moving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that be okay. So I'm not a, a taskmaster tyrant. I'm, I'm letting this horse feel like he can move his feet and be okay. Just let him, just let him carry this bag around like, like we had a rider on his back here. Let's see what, let's see what we got. Very nice. Let him walk out from under it. Come on. Around there pretty nice. Let's, let's keep that thing moving there just a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna get closer to that box as we go. I need forward motion right there. Perfect. Let him let him move forward. There's forward. I'm gonna go with him, let him walk straight there for a minute because I wanna get up on the other side of this box and give him an opportunity to, to start to think about getting up on there. So why would, why do you wanna do this to a horse? You know, he, he, he's obviously troubled. He obviously doesn't wanna do it. I do this kind of stuff with him so that if we do give him a job, if he does become a rope horse, when we go to town, I don't want him afraid of everything that's going around him walking around there growling like a tiger and, and afraid of every everything and ropers zipping the ropes around and 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 all kind of activity going. That's the real world. So this is this is sort of letting this horse see the real world, letting him get comfortable in it and giving him a chance. Giving him a chance to be okay. 
I'm going to take him over there a little closer. Let him have a breather right there. That's nice. What was nice was he, he stopped looking at this bag and he looked over there where I want him to go. So when he did that, I quit, I quit waving this thing. <laughs> For those of you that have watched our videos, you've never seen me work a horse with a contraption like this. <laughs> This is not everyday utensil. This is specific for this horse because of the issue he's dealing with. So don't think that you gotta have some kind of a bag here that looks like you got a fishing pole out of Walmart and you got a 10 pound bass on the end of it. it that, that doesn't have nothing to do with this. We're, we're, we're setting the stage here. Let this horse get a little more comfortable. There's some try. There's some try. There's a lot of try. He'll probably go all the way over it once he gets up this time, and that's okay. thought he would do. Now I just make this a resting place for him. Let him just have some time up there. Now I'm going to ask him to come on off of it. Ask him to come on off. Mm. Very nice. He wasn't afraid coming off. He was he was troubled about going up, but once he got up there, he said, oh yeah, this this thing. I remember this. It's been a good thing. Let's see what happens here now. Now all of a sudden this this giant fishing pole with a bag on the end of it isn't quite so scary as it was. I think you're starting to see why we named this horse Brilliant Attitude. <laughs> you know, because you, all I ever want a horse to do is to try. You can't ask for one to try any more than that. I think we'll call that a good training session right there. Thank you.